Yo, what is up guys? You're watching Epic Pokemon TCG and today guys what I got for you is going to be Suicune GX, Tyranitar GX, and Professor Elm's Lecture that are going to be coming up in the 8th edition of the Sun and Moon set. So if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Also guys, I should make a formal video on my channel but I'm just going to go ahead and throw it out real quick here. Uh, this is my second channel. If you guys want to go check that out, it's all gaming related. Just want to go ahead and give that a quick shout out. Just a goofy channel that my friends and I do. So if you guys are interested in that, you can go check it out. But anyway, without further ado, we're going to take a look at Suicune here first. Has the ability Phantom Wind once during your turn before you attack. If this Pokemon is on your bench, you may shuffle this Pokemon and all cards attached to it back into your deck. So that's a good thing. If this doesn't get guzzled up and knocked out, you can pretty much get this out of there. Uh, get your, you know, pretty much just kind of deny prizes. Get your Pokemon out of harm's way. And then as Cure Stream for 120 during your opponent's next turn, the defending Pokemon's attacks do 30 less damage. And then uh, Br 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 Brinkle, I guess Brinkle. <laughs> Brinkle GX 150, and then you switch this Pokemon. So the GX kind of has some synergy with the ability. Pretty nice there. Um, my friend Ricky just messaged me on Messenger. Bro. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, you just pretty much get to throw it back in your deck. Uh, the GX attack does a, or does a solid amount of damage. The only bad thing with this card is the energy cost isn't a water and a DC. I feel like if it was a water and a DC, this would be a lot better. But still, not too bad. Uh, the ability is like, really neat. Uh, next up, we're going to take a look at Tyranitar GX. It has the ability Lost Out. If one of your opponent's Pokemon is knocked out by damage from this Pokemon's attacks, put that Pokemon and all, and all cards attached to it into the Lost Zone. So if this knocks something out, it's gone, period. It's out of there, Lost Zone. And that's just really devastating when you think about it because your opponent uh, loses those energies. They, of course, can't get, you know, a Ranguru to put stuff back into the deck or whatever it might be coming up that lets you put stuff back in the deck. On top of that, like, Rescue Stretcher doesn't put stuff back in. It's just really, really just an annoying ability. And then it has Vicious Sandstorm for 130, and then it does 30 to each of your opponent's bench basic Pokemon, which is pretty crazy. Uh, and then Smackdown, which is actually, I think, the attack that you got on the Larvitar community today if you evolved the Tyranitar up on Pokemon Go, I think, if I'm not mistaken. But it does 220, and then this attack damage isn't affected by any effects on the defending Pokemon, which is really nice. It's like a cool way to get through stuff like Hoopa or something like that. And uh, again, this card would be a lot better if the energy cost was a single energy in a DC, but the art's really cool looking. I think that looks really nice. Uh, but you know, just an interesting little card. Uh, the ability is really cool. I think the two things that these two cards have that is really nice is the abilities on them, or the one thing I guess I should say. And then the main card out of the trio here, this one is insane. This one is absolutely insane. Because basically, it's gonna perform like a Bridget. When you think about it, Bridget, you would grab Pokemon with 50 to 60 HP depending on what stuff comes out later on you know but I think this actually could be a card that would be really good in Zorak decks and that is Professor Elm's lecture so basically you get the searcher deck up for three Pokemon with 60 HP or less and then put them in your hand so essentially you can just grab like uh, you know three Zoroa two Zoroa and then if you're playing it with something else you can grab that which is really nice honestly and so I think this will be a humongous card going forward just because of, you know, the fact that it just lets you set your field up. And right now we have Pokemon Fan Club. We have, you know, we have uh, Apricorn Maker and such. So not like the best engines, but I think this one here will actually be pretty good. I personally love the Apricorn engine, but I know it does have its faults and such. But overall, I think out of the three cards featured here, this is the main one you really have to take a look at. And, you know, shout out to Poke Beach, man. Always releasing amazing stuff on there. A uh, good way to keep up with set information, way to keep up with like news and such happening around Pokemon. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I think the main card that we need to take a look here is this one right here, Professor Elm's Lecture. And yeah, I really appreciate you guys for watching. And make sure to go check out my second channel if you are interested in that. It's pretty much just gaming with me and my friends, just funny moments, videos, and goofy stuff that we get into online. So yeah, you guys are all awesome. Thank you so much. I love you. And this is Epic Pokemon TCG signing out. Take care, guys. Thank you.